Hi, thanks for connecting to thatcable.com. We're always here to help. Today I'll be showing you how our HDMI repeater can get you out of difficulties when you've run HDMI cables over long lengths, particularly cheaper cables with, that are made of CCA, which is copper clad aluminium. You tend to get pixelation on the screen, which I'll be showing you next. Um, on this run we've got, out of the PC here, a 10 metre run, a HDMI coupler, this is a 20 metre cable, very good quality, um, high gauge cable, another coupler and then a short cable running into, into the TV. So I'm now just going to zoom in and show you the pixelation on the screen. At the moment there's two couplers being used and about 30 and a half metres of cable, so there's, there's a lot of cable being used there. Um, and we'll just introduce the HDMI repeater, which is like a coupler, um, instead of one of the couplers. The, the repeater, which is here, always goes at the end of your run. So say if you've got a 20 meter cable like this built into your wall, um, and this would normally be a, a short cable coming out of your wall, and another short cable, which this one is, coming out of your wall. Um, the repeater would be used at the end of your run, just before your TV. Um, to help boost the signal and get rid of any defects on the screen. Um, this repeater here is actually rated up to 6.75 gigabytes a second which means it can handle 3D signals as well so it will repeat on 3D signals. Some will only go up to 1080p which you've got to be very wary of. Um, today the reason why we're getting such a long run is that this TV is only running at 720p at the moment. So this is a repeater as you can see it's got a HDMI input HDMI output. It's active so it's got a power supply with it um, you just basically plug it in. You can buy active cables as well which is literally a, a cable with a repeater built in. Some of those are powered, some aren't. Obviously the powered ones they, they help a bit more if you're in more difficulties. But it's quite straightforward as you can see this could be a wall plate for example. Obviously we've just used a coupler for today's example. You just plug the output of the repeater into where the screen's going and the input from the um, PC today into the input on the repeater and you'll see the screen comes on and it's absolutely faultless again you, you can see there's absolutely no pixelation there whereas before the screen was or had sparkles everywhere it's coming you know, the sparkles when the screen isn't displaying correctly um, and that's cleaned it up we, we get quite a lot of customers with this sort of problem especially when they run cables through walls and they haven't had a big budget on the cables, um, so yeah, it's a, an easy way to, to resolve um, an issue which can be quite annoying sometimes. We want to know what confuses you in the world of audio and video. Leave a comment below with what you need help with and we will do our best to make a video for you. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.